In this video, we will look at how can we use Excel to calculate the probability for binomial distribution. And we're looking for a motor company. So a motor company has purchased steel parts from the supplier for several years and has found that 10% of the parts must be returned because they are defective. An order of 25 parts is received. So the first question we are looking for, what is the probability that the two parts are defective? And by reading this uh, case description, you should be able to identify the parameter's value. So in binomial distribution, we have two parameters, n and p. And based on the question, what is the probability that the two parts are defective? And we can identify our uh, value for x. So before we identify the p, which is the probability for success, and we need to know what is success in this case. So since as in the class, I define the success is the outcome we are interested in, and we should be able to calculate the probability for the event related to the success. So now let's go back to look at the question. What is the probability that the two parts are defective? So if you are the manager for the motor company, and uh, you are based on this question, and you are a uh, carrier of the defective rate instead of in defective rate. So in this case, the outcome you're interested in is defective. So the success is equal to defective. So it's very useful to, for you to define what is uh, success, because once you define the outcomes uh, defined as success, and uh, you can find uh, the probability for, P, uh, for the success, which is p, and uh, the number of trials, which is n. So what is p equal to? So let's go back to look at our question again. So a motor, so the motor pump company finds that 10% of the parts must be returned because they are defective. So which means the 10% is our defective rate. So then go back to our Excel. In the new cell, you type in 0.1, which is 10%. So now, how about the value for n? n is the number of the individual trials. So let's go back to look at the uh, example, again, uh, example again. So an order of 25 parts is received, which means we the number of the trial is 25 parts. So you draw the parts 25 times and each one is considered one trials. So the value for n is equal to 25. So now we look at the question A to identify the value for x. So in the example, we found that uh, we are looking for what is the probability that the two parts are defective, So, which means x exactly equal to 2 in this question. So we type in x equal to 2. So now we identify the parameter's value and the value for x. So now we are looking for p probability of x equal to 2. So the probability x equal to 2, and we will use a formula called a binomial the dist b b i n o m the dist. And don't forget the parentheses. So once you click the parentheses, then they start to notify you the numbers s. It stands for the number of success, which is a value for x. So we identify it's equal to 2. Common. And the trials, that is the ind ind independent number of the trials, So we are, which is the value for n. So we can choose the sale with the, num with the value for m. Don't forget the common and the, the probabilities. So that is the probability for success. And then we choose point the, the sale with the uh, probabilities and the common. So here, true or false. So cumulative distribution function or probability mass function. So cumulative distribution function is you are cumulated from the smallest, smallest value to the value you are listed here. And however, if you look at the probability here, we are only looking for the probability for one point, which is x equal to 2, instead of x smaller than or equal to 2. So then we should use probability mass function. So then we can type in force. 
and close the parentheses, push enter on the keyboard, and uh, we got a 0.265888. And so this is the probability for the manager to find the two um, defective parts within the 25 trials. Uh, if I asking you, if I'm asking you to keep two decimal places then you can come here to reduce the number of the decimal places so that is 27 percent chance you will get uh, two parts are defective so now let's look at the second question what is the probability that uh, no more than three of these parts are defective so in this question so you should be able to identify n 25 p 10 percent doesn't change the only thing change is the number of success so in the first question we're looking for x equal to 2 however the second question the number of success we're looking for is no more than 3 so no more than 3 means means x smaller and equal to 3 right so no more than 3 so now we are looking for the probability of x small and equal to 3 so in the class we mentioned if you want to get the probability for x smaller and equal to 3 what we will do is we will calculate a four uh, probability and add them together uh, namely equal to uh, namely we have we need to use the probability of x equal to 0 plus the probability of x equal to 1 plus probability of x equal to 2 plus probability of x equal to 3 so we need to calculate that these four different probability and add them together we will get what we want probability x smaller and equal to 3 so using the Excel will save us a lot of time so in order to efficiently get the result I will teach you two methods so the first method we will create the uh, part of our uh, discrete probability distribution table and uh, add uh, the probability equal to 0, 2, 3, and th uh, 2, and 3 together. So first, in the column I, we uh, the first uh, row, we will put uh, the label for each column. Column I, we call it X, and the column J, we call it F, X. So as we see in here, the x we are looking for is 0, 1, 2, and 3. So in the column i, we type in 1, 2, three, uh, 1, oh, sorry, uh, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And on the column j, and we will list uh, the probability corresponding to each x. So we're still using the same formula equal to B -I -O, uh, binomial b-i-n-o-m the DIST and the parentheses so the number before we type in 2 in the question a here we already list the possible value for X and we choose the cell instead of typing the number so we choose the I2 cell in the common and the number of the trials which is our 25 and don't type in 25 again you need to choose the G1 cell and before you push uh, click uh, type in common please push F4 on the keyboard so which means you want to put uh, the dollar sign ahead of G or ahead of 1 if the shortcut F4 doesn't work for your computer please find oops, please find the uh, find the find the keyboard find the dollar sign manually put on dollar sign before G and before 1 and a common so the next is the probabilities of success then we choose our E1 cell and again you push F4 and you want to fix the E1 and uh, E and 1 don't change and at the end again we are looking for X equal to 0 it is not accumulative the probability so you type in force now you can close the parentheses and the push enter so you should get a probability for x equal to 0 equal to 0 0.07179 then we will use the powerful function from the excel which is a drop down so choose the g2 cell put the mouse on the right down corner and the drag it down to our last uh, uh, row for x equal to 3 so now what you will see is you're filling all four cells. So why we can use this kind of um, 
uh, drop down function here. So now let's see check our uh, our uh, uh, JF cell here. So once you choose JF cell, and we will look at uh, the description of this cell. So binomial dot dist i4. So i4 actually is here x 3s value i4, and g1 and the g1 is here e1 e1 is here and the fourth. So compare the uh, J4 and the J2 cell, and you will find everything are the same except the value for x and they are keep they are up they keep updating based on which row you are in so for instance the j2 is corresponding to i2 and the j4 is corresponding to i4 so we are keep updating so we fit so which means here all the probability here is probably x equal to 0 2 1 2 and 3 so now what we will do in order to get this probability is we will add all four together. So we use sum parentheses. We will sum all four probability together. And we got 0 0.763591. So that is the first method I want to introduce to calculate the probability for x smaller and equal to 3. And the second the question is, can we use a, a better way to solve this problem? The answer is yes. So if you look at uh, x smaller and equal to 3, and you should be able to find a difference between b and a. So the b actually we are looking for the cumulative probability distribution from the smallest value to the largest value. So now we can use another way. Actually, we already see when we are using the binomial function, that is cumulative distribution. So first, we type in equal. And then b i o n uh, b i n o m dot d i s t and the parentheses. So now the number of the trials, the number of success. So before, since we are looking for one point, so we just type in whatever here we have. So now we are looking for x smaller and equal to three, and we know it should have four different x. So where should we put the num which number should we put here? So here you need to remember. The number you put here is the upper limit of your x, and which can be reached. So x smaller and equal to 3, the upper boundary is 3. And uh, three x will be able to get 3 as well. So then you just put in the upper limit of 3 here, common. The number of the trials, as we know, 25, common. The probability of success 0.1 common. So before we are using true uh, force because we're looking for the probability for one point, and as I said here is the cumulative distribution, and uh, then we can type in true and push enter, close the parentheses. So we got exactly the same probability as our first method. So again, the first method you are you will not make mistake. The second one you are likely to make mistake. Because if we are looking for the probability x smaller than three, and we still so you know this still can use the binomial distribution, cumulative binomial distribution to get the probability. However, when you write down the numbers of success, you need to know what is the upper boundary for x more than 3 for the binomial distribution. So since the binomial distribution is discrete probability distribution, the boundary is very important. So p x smaller than 3, which means x cannot equal to 3. So which means x smaller than 3 equal to the probability x smaller and equal to 2, right? Smaller equal to 2. So which means 2 is our attainable boundary. So here, instead of right, type in 3, you should type in 2, not 3, because 3 is not attainable in this question. Common number of trials common, probability of success, common, and the true. So you will get different probability for x more than 3. Again, x more than 3, it doesn't include the probability for x equal to 3. So when you're using the cumulative distribution, and you should 
right type in the number of success equal to two instead of three so that's why I said second approach are more likely to make mistake the first approach may take a relatively uh, more time however it will seldom make mistakes